Yo, what's up? Thanks for clicking play. This will be on formal. I appreciate you being here. Today we have Vivek Ramaswamy speaking in Iowa on the eve of the Iowa caucus, which was Sunday. And today, Monday, is the actual caucus. So I'm excited to see who wins. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Donald Trump, but you never know. Anyway, he was asked about being VP for somebody if, if he doesn't win. And he mentioned Nikki Haley. He mentioned Donald Trump. But let's see what he's going to say. And I'll tell you right now, he said Nikki Haley's a flat out no. Spoiler alert. Anyway, let me know what you think after the video's over. Thanks. Curious if you do not win the nomination, and I hope you do, but if you do not, would you accept the vice presidency if someone were to ask you? So you, let's just assume that would be Donald Trump in that scenario you're thinking? Anybody. Okay. For Nikki Haley, I'd give a flat no. I would just be a flat no. Right? So for Donald Trump, I, people ask me this question enough times, and so I'll tell you what my answer has been, and then I'm like, I'll click a layer deeper, because I have a chance to think about it a little bit more. For Donald Trump, I mean, look, I, I've enjoyed getting a lot of questions in the last few weeks where a number of people said they came in hoping that I would be Trump's vice president. They left asking if I would make Trump my vice president, which, yeah, I think is not a bad role for him, actually. Not that that's a demotion, but that that's almost an emeritus role. I can rely on him as an advisor. One way or another, I expect to rely on him as a rely on him as an advisor. So I expect to be your next president. That's why I'm in this. I'm going to be best positioned to lead this nation from the front. But you know, campaigns founded on truth, and so you know, now people have asked me this question. I'm not a Plan B person, so I can't really tell you my brain doesn't function that way. But I can tell you this: I need to know. I mean, for the same reason I gave you a flat note to Nikki, I need to know that Trump and I were on the same page on a few things. Are you serious about ending the war in Ukraine, or is that just a talking point about a 24-hour deal that you won't say what it is? Are you serious about actually ending the federal subsidies for a carbon capture pipeline, bending the knee to a climate change cult, and saying no to donor money, including from the likes of Bruce Rastetter, if that's necessary, to stand for what's right? Will we stop sending these subsidies to the carbon capture pipeline making its way across half the state. Are we actually going to follow through and pardon on day one every peaceful January 6th protester, even if it's politically inconvenient, rather than throwing them under the bus as part of some other project? Are we actually going to strip pharmaceutical companies? Admit that Operation Warp Speed wasn't what we thought it should have been, and that we can at least acknowledge and learn from that to say that we will strip pharmaceutical companies of their special liability exemptions so that there actually can be justice where there has been injury. Like, are we serious about these things? Are we going to build that new building for the FBI? Because if so, I'm not in. If we're really going to get serious about shutting it down, we can have that conversation. And so I don't have the answers to those questions right now, but those would be minimal conditions for me to even entertain having that conversation. But if that's where we are, and that's what the people of this country want. There's a better way to do this, and I'm standing right here. I'll have your little ballot tomorrow night, circle my name. We don't have to do the conditions. We can just get this right through the front door. That's why I'm in this race. And so I'm going to do whatever is right for this country. You have my word on that. We're, we, this country has been kind enough to us. We've lived an American dream that my parents never imagined possible when they came to this country 40 years ago in search of opportunity. I founded multi-billion dollar companies. I did it while marrying a poor girl, raising our two sons, following our faith in God. That's the American dream. I'm worried that American dream isn't going to exist for our kids and their generation. That's why we're doing this. I've had all the success I need as a capitalist. This next phase of our life, our career, our journey is about recreating that country so we can pass that on to the next generation. I'll do that as the floor sweeper at the White House if I have to. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be at the White House. And so I've gotten that vice president question probably enough times we get to the eve of the Iowa caucus tomorrow night. It is. I guess I had a chance to reflect on it. I have a long list of conditions, so long that it would just remind me of why I actually just needed to be the president to actually get the darn thing done. So that's my answer to your question. Thank you.